Good day, kids. We're going to talk about canal safety today, and I'm going to be your teacher. My name is Otto the Otter, and I'm an expert on canals. Let's get started so you can be an expert too. Can you tell me what's in this picture? Is it a river or a canal? Did you guess canal? Excellent. You're well on your way to being an expert just like me. What makes a canal different than a river or a stream? Well, a river is made by Mother Nature and a canal is made by a man. Canals can be big and look like rivers or they can be small and look like streams. Most of the canals around here were built in the early 1900s. In those days, the phone looked like this, the car looked like this, and aeroplanes had just been invented. Nowadays, we're lucky to have machines like this to help us dig canals and trenches for pipe. But do you know how they used to make the canals? Well, they used a tool like this called a Fresno scraper. They would drag the tools with horses and scoop up the dirt. They also used dynamite when they needed to dig a ditch through hard rock. Sometimes they would build wooden flumes above the ground. A flume is like a wooden pipe to carry the water. Now that you know how canals were built, do you know why they were built in the first place? Everything needs water to survive, including livestock. They rely on our canals for drinking water and to grow the food they eat. But cows and sheep are not the only ones who need to eat. Local farms also use the canal system to get water that they use to grow the foods you and I eat. The canal system is also used to deliver water to fun places like a golf course, parks and green spaces, and school fields. Canals look like they would be a fun place to play or have a swim, but there can be lots of hidden dangers in the canal. Can you think of some dangers that might be below the water? Things like sharp rocks, broken glass, or even rusty nails. The sides of the canal can be dangerous too. You might find a slippery rock or some weeds that could cause you to lose your footing and fall in the canal. There might also be dangers that you can't see with your eyes, like chemicals and animal poo. Crikey, did I just say animal poo? Canals can be deep enough to swallow an entire car. Canals can be fast moving and lead into dangerous pipes. Even though our canals are dry half the year, they're still not safe to play in. Water can come rushing down them at any time. Guess what, kids? It's movie time. Hey, let's go swimming in the canal. No way, we can drown in there. That's right, kids. Canals and ditches are uncool. Playing, running, or swimming around canals and ditches is dangerous and unsafe. But I know it's hot outside. Well, then cool off at your local pool, lake, or swimming area where adults can watch you. Never swim alone and always have a buddy. Okay. Otto the Otter says, stay away from canals and ditches and stay safe this summer. Let's review the safety rules you just learned so you can earn your canal safety expert badge. If someone falls into the canal, get help fast. Don't try to save them yourself. If you're going to be around the canals, you should learn to swim like an otter. It's never a good idea to play by the water by yourself. Say no to swimming in canals or ditches. You'll have a much better time swimming in a pool with an adult. If you do see someone swimming or playing in the canal, tell an adult. Listen up, mates. Do me a favor and stay away from the canals. Otto the Otter reminds you, 
Canals aren't for fooling around. Good on you, mates, and congratulations. You're now a canal safety expert just like me. Do your old mate Otto a favor and spread the word about canal safety. I hope you have a fun and safe summer.